What's up night walkers? So today I'm going to be talking about filters for use with night vision devices. And the filters I'm talking about are the ones that go here on the eyepiece of uh, PVS-14 optics. And what these filters do is they uh, uh, change the brightness or change the image uh, from the tube through the eyepiece to your eye. And what these are primarily used for um, is to reduce the brightness, you know, so you get a more manageable brightness level to your eyes as well as to give you some more contrast. And then in certain conditions, if you have a lot of scintillation, you know, the graininess or the static you might see in the image, it helps you get rid of that as well. Um, so, you know, the guy had contacted me that makes these uh, a little ways back. Uh, I think he'd seen some comments I'd put up online about my dislike of these filters. And so he'd, he'd reached out to me and said, hey, you know, I hand make these filters inside here, you know, inside the United States. And uh, they're vastly superior to the Wilcox ones and to the other filters he's used and asked if I was interested in checking them out. And I said I was, and the reason I was interested, uh, even though I dislike these, is um, all of my tubes now are uh, either 10160 tubes or uh, PVS-14 tubes converted to 10160 format. Uh, and so all that means is the, the 10160 tubes, they don't have gain control on them uh, versus you know, the 11769 tubes that typically come in PVS-14s. Uh, so since I don't have those, you know, before, if I had a lot of scintillation, I could just turn down the gain control and that would get rid of much of that simulation. Uh, but since I can't do that anymore, um, this type of a filter is pretty interesting to me. Uh, so he sent me out the filters and he even sent me out a Wilcox filter to, to check out. Um, and his is really nice. Uh, it's made of, this housing's made out of aluminum. And then the, uh, uh, the glass is actually glass. And he sources it from Japan, uh, I believe he said, because the, uh, uh, the optical grade glass that, that's available to him through these is uh, superior to any other glass he's tried. And he said he's tried quite a few different types of glass. Um, and they, you know, since the screws into the eyepiece, it's gonna give you um, an extra barrier of protection from scratches or any damage happening to your eyepiece. Uh, so you just scratch the, the, uh, the filter versus the actual lens itself, as well as it's, it's secured inside here. It's not gonna fall off, you know, compared to something like the Wilcox, which just goes over top of it. And these are notorious for falling off of the 14s. Uh, some guys have glued them on there uh, which, you know, personally, I wouldn't like that because if you don't want to use the filter, you know, if you accidentally screwed, you know, glued it to the whole thing, now you're kind of screwed. Uh, so the comparison between them is pretty, uh, it's pretty clear in itself in terms of, you know, this glass, it's definitely an actual yellow, whereas the Wilcox, uh, it's more of a copper, I guess, you know, it's definitely different and having them up on the 14s, uh, this Wilcox one is, is much darker. It cuts down a lot more performance compared to this one. And so I was able to, to get some videos for you to show you on uh, different types of nights, uh, nights with zero moon, uh, heavy cloud cover, rainy conditions, you know, the worst conditions you could possibly use night vision on. And it'll be pretty obvious in the video. And then also nights with uh, a bright moon, almost a full moon, uh, very little cloud cover, you know, very good uh, bright conditions uh, where any, any device is gonna function the best. Um, and so you can kind of see how that works. Uh, the videos speak for themselves. And I'll, I'll put his email down below. Uh, so if you're, if you're interested in getting one of his filters, uh, you can contact him and, and go from there. All right, so these pictures were taken with no moon, starlight only. And as you can see on the right-hand side, with no filter, it's gonna be a brighter image. Uh, but then on the left, uh, that filter in place, uh, you definitely get more contrast, which you can definitely tell uh, looking at the stars in that picture. All right, so these pictures right here, uh, the worst of the worst. So. This night, I took these, uh, there's zero moon, heavy cloud cover, rainy conditions, and you can definitely tell, I mean, even with the best Gen 3, and uh, these types of conditions, it's gonna struggle. They just not look as good as it will, obviously with more light. Uh, but as you can see, the Wilcox one uh, filter is the darkest one. Um, you can barely see anything, and that's how it looks to the eye. Uh, the clear amber night filter is definitely better. Uh, you still get a performance hit with it. Uh, no filter is gonna be the best. Um, but the clear amber night one, it does get rid of some of that scintillation in these types of really dark conditions. All right, these videos pretty much, you know, speak for themselves. Uh, on a very bright night like this, this is a full moon night, very little cloud cover. Uh, the conditions are super bright. Uh, the Wilcox one is still too dark, even in these conditions, in my opinion. Uh, the clear amber night filter does a good job giving you more contrast. And obviously, you're going to get more performance or more light with no filter at all. All right, so these videos I took on the same night. I uh, took those pictures earlier, and I'll just let these things speak for themselves.
So as you can see from the video, uh, his filter works very well. You know, the Wilcox one, it's uh, just too dark. I, I don't think it performs nearly as well as this one does. Uh, plus this one's made of plastic. I mean, it's gonna be much easier to scratch. And once you scratch it up, you know, you're pretty much screwed on that one. Uh, whereas with the glass, it's gonna be a lot harder to scratch up. Uh, plus if you're cleaning them, you know, even using a microfiber, uh, there's way less of a chance that you're gonna scratch the glass at all uh, versus with the plastic, even with microfiber. You know, if there's some particles in there, uh, you could definitely rub some, some scratches into it. Uh, so for myself, as long as I have PVS-14 optics, uh, I'm going to hang on to these filters and keep using them. Uh, I really like the way they work, uh, especially with against the sky and stuff like that with stars. Um, I can get a lot more contrast using this filter than I do uh, not using it. And I just, you know, I generally enjoy the color it gives as well. Uh, on really dark nights, um, honestly, I'll probably just take it out unless I'm getting, you know, way too much scintillation, then I might put them back in. Um, but it's a good filter. Uh, I definitely recommend getting it. Uh, like I said, they're, uh, you know, handmade here in the United States, uh, which, you know, that's always a plus versus buying something else, uh, which potentially can come from overseas. Uh, and he only charges 50 bucks for these, 50 bucks each. And that's a really good price compared to the other ones out there. Um, even other screw-in ones, uh, those are like, you know, at least 80 bucks or up. And even these Wilcoxes, for what you're getting, these are just way too much money. I definitely want to recommend one of these to somebody. Uh, so if you're somebody, you know, you're in the market for picking up one of these filters, I hope this video helped you out. And thanks for watching.